Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and with the recent Windows anniversary update, I was really excited about this new feature that they implement, which is running Ubuntu Linux natively on Windows 10. And I'm gonna show you how. So let's get started. So guys, the first thing you're gonna need is the Windows 10 anniversary update. So if you haven't updated yet, you could actually forcefully update it through this link. I'm gonna leave it in the description below. Now, if you hit the start menu, you're gonna see it's changed on my end. You go to settings and go to update and security. And the first thing you need to do is activate developer mode. As soon as you activate developer mode, you're gonna notice it's gonna to try to download packages, but this will allow you to do to run applications, not from the Windows Store. While I'm waiting for this to happen, you can see, hey, you need to restart your computer. Don't worry about that yet. We are still needing to install some features. So I'm gonna to go to the control panel. I am going to change the icons to small icons and click on programs, wherever that may be, programs and features. Then click on install turn on and off Windows features. Scroll down and check off Windows subsystem for Linux beta. As soon as that happens, it's actually gonna download all the files you need. Okay, then we're gonna restart the computer. All right, and we're back. So now that we have that installed, you wanna look for bash. And it says bash run command. And you're gonna see, look, it's beta feature. This will install Ubuntu on Windows and blah, 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 type yes to continue. Yes. Now it's gonna download everything from Windows Store. So while we wait for that to install, let's head over to this, which is called Xming Server for Windows. And this allows you to run GUI applications from Ubuntu natively. So I'm gonna hit download. Once that's downloaded, let's install it. Yes, next, next, next. I'm just gonna next through everything because I already know how this goes. And we could launch it for now. We're not gonna need it. Allow access. Now we wait for Ubuntu to finish extracting and finishing install. Once it's done installing, the first thing it's gonna ask is for a Unix username. I'm just gonna use my Windows name. Password, which is my super secret password. And we're done. Now we're at the environment. So to test it, watch this. sudo apt-get update. It'll update from ubuntu.com. Now, if you really want to test the Xming that we just installed, I'm gonna test this. sudo apt-get install xchat, which is um, IRC client for Ubuntu. So now that everything's done installing for a GUI application, you have to export your display to zero. And then I can run my application natively. Here we have it. Look at that. We got the Ubuntu server, everything works. I could just hit connect. So thanks for watching my video. If you like that, please hit that like button. And if you got any comments or questions about this video, hit it in the comments below. Now, I will be testing this and be using this more frequently. I will keep you guys posted and let you know what I can and cannot do with this Ubuntu native install on Windows 10. So if you guys want to support the channel, you could do it by two ways. One, share this video with anything you could think of. And two, uh, I do have a Patreon link where you guys could be patrons and help support the channel. Now, as I say in my nerd cave, Hack till it hurts.